Good people, what's up, fam? What's up? Come on in the room, child. We up in here. Running a little late for work, but we up in here, though. <laughs> We're going to make it do what it do this morning. So come on in the room, child. What's up, fam? What's up? What's up? How you doing? What's your day looking like? What's going on? Holla back at your girl. It's your sister. It's your friend. It's your niece. It's your auntie. It's your mom. Whatever you call me, child. We in here trying to get to work, baby. I'm running late this morning. <clears throat> had to talk to my glam baby this morning. Let me let my windows up. I had to talk to my glam baby this morning. She lost her first two. And, um, you know, I had to call in and, and see what happened. And so she was excited about the money the tooth fairy gave her. She was not excited that Kyle, Kyle, uh, whatever the baby name, he threw a tooth in the garbage can. Nah. Kyle, now you knew that was somebody too. But anyway, she said she, <laughs> her daddy told her she needed to write a note <laughs> to the tooth fairy because she didn't have the tooth. She ain't got no proof of the tooth. So she wrote a note to the tooth fairy that said, oh, his whole name, Kyle, he throw or somebody, whatever his little name is, you threw my tooth in the garbage and you need to give me some money. I said, Lord, <laughs> that's that's my glam baby. My, my glam baby don't play about that money, honey. My glam baby was like, now you done threw my tooth in that garbage. And you need to give me some money for it. Because if this tooth fairy don't, I'm coming to you, Kyle. The, is you just got to train them up in the way they should go. <laughs> oh, man, listen. That thing tickled me this morning. I said, who said... Brother, you done threw my tooth in that garbage and you need to give up some coins, sir. So, I thought that was hilarious. So, she got me up, got me late, but got me up laughing and vibing. I was trying to play my little song in the background, but it's not playing today. Um, blessings on blessings, baby. Listen, I got a meeting today at 8 o'clock. So, I may be doing some movement today. As a matter of fact, I need to go ahead and switch my Wi-Fi over because it is not going to connect when I get to the school. So as soon as I cross the street, um, we're going to connect it over. But baby, I got something I want to say to you this morning real quick before my meeting today. <clears throat> so let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father God, for what you're, what you're doing, what you're, what you're getting ready to do in our lives. And we just give you praise. We just give you glory. We just give you honor for it. You are a good father. You are a good, good father. And we magnify your name today. We bless you. We, we, we lift you up and we make your name great above whatever it is that we may be going through, above whatever situations we may be currently involved in, perplexed about, worried about, uh, have thoughts about. God, we thank you that you are in control. And because you are in control, we can trust you and we can trust your plan for our lives. So God, we surrender this day to you. We pray that you would order our steps. Give us this day our daily bread. And I am reminded of the word that I heard uh, earlier this morning that said, uh, let your kingdom come, let your will be done. And, and, and I had to sit with that thing for a minute, daddy. You, you, you are saying that I want you to enjoy life right now. Some, some, some of the saints are so busy. They keep saying, Lord, let your kingdom come because they ready to leave. No, no. God said, no, I intended for you. I guess I'm move from prayer right into talking. I intended for you. Okay, let me let me let me go and fix this real quick. I Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. All right, y'all. I'm at the school. Let me know if the Wi-Fi is good before I transition over. Let me know if the Wi-Fi is good before I get to talking. I usually have to turn it off. Just throw some hearts up. Let me know it's good. I want to know it's good before I get started. 
let me know let me know let me know if the wi-fi is okay if you can hear me okay anybody somebody let me know Miss Marvel, I'm taking that. that. That means that the Wi-Fi is good. You can hear me, so I don't need to shift anything. I don't need to turn anything. <sighs> Somebody put it in the chat. Wi-Fi good. I want to let you know this morning. Listen to me, honey. Let me take these shades off for a second. No, oh, I think I'm cute with my shades on. Cuter. Keep them on for a minute. Listen. Honey, I done messed up. I done messed up and done hit this song blessings on blessings and i had to send it to a couple people this morning i had to send it to a couple people that was a couple of my sisters baby i don't know what you're going through i don't know what's going on in your life i listen i got some stuff going on myself but i i want to remind you of something the blessing is on the way it's in route Listen, I listen, I ain't got long this morning, so I got to get this out real quick, but I need you to stay with me, you understand? When I start to reflect again, you know I'm still a reflection of resurrection weekend. That's why it can't just be a weekend. It's it's gotta be what you remember all year long. Resurrection weekend has to be a constant reminder in your mind of what Christ did for you. You cannot just say it's Easter Sunday. Boo boo. No, no. You've got to listen to me. You have got to celebrate. You have got to think on and think about what God did all year long. Because the moment that you look at it as a holiday, I'm telling you, you're going to get yourself out there and you. You've got to remember what he did all day, all week, all year, your whole life, boo. It's got to be part of the reason that you do what you do. Why? Because, he, listen, this is the thing that I'm sitting on this morning. Mm -hmm. Somebody find the scripture for me and drop it in the chat. I'm sitting on the verse that says, he came, mm -hmm, I've come. That's what he said. Jesus said, listen, I've come that you may have life. He said, listen. Be of good cheer. Listen, be of good cheer. Go on, have joy. Go on, be happy. Go on, get your praise on. Go on, get your shout on. Don't be walking around all gloomy and doomy. Don't be walking around looking like, you know, you got this going on and that going on and you're waiting for somebody to say what's wrong with you. Uh -uh. I, listen, I need you to be of good cheer. <clears throat> I need you to get your praise on. I need you to clap it up. I need you to have joy. As James told us yesterday, look, count this thing all joy. You, you got to count it all joy. Why? Because he said, count it all joy. Why? Because I've come. <laughs> that you may have what? Life and have it how, Marilyn? More abundantly. When, when God made the earth. Let me slow down. Slow down, Jay. Because I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about what God is doing in my life. <sighs> in the beginning, God created Eden. He created the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden had everything that Adam and Eve needed. He literally brought heaven to earth. That's why Jesus says, Thy kingdom come, let thy will be done. He brought the kingdom of heaven to the earth. Everything was good in the garden. Everything. It was wonderful. It was plush. It was amazing. It was awesome. It was fruitful. It was thriving. It was blessings on blessings. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Listen to me. It was amazing. Until Adam and Eve. I don't say Eve because they both messed up. Until they messed up. Do you know in order to bring heaven back to earth, God had to send Jesus. But this time he had to send him to another garden. Stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. He had to send Jesus to a different garden. So we have the first Adam, Adam, who had the abundant life that God always intended for us to walk in. That was the first garden. That was the first Adam. That was the first man. He then, in order to restore us back to himself, uh -huh. And so that we could live the life that he always uh -huh, predestined 
for us to live, he had to send the second Adam, which is Jesus. But this time, in order to make that thing right, he had to send Jesus to the Garden of Gethsemane. This is where it all went down. I need to drop this nugget on you this morning. You may be going through something. You may be having a hard time. Things may not be right. They may not be like you want them to be. You may be going through some situations that are not tasteful. They are not good. They don't feel good. Even though you say, God, your will is good. Even if it doesn't feel good, it's good for me. You know, I love to say that. My sister taught me that. I love that. But sometimes that thing don't feel good. Sometimes you're going through per hell. Sometimes you're going through some stuff and you're just trying to figure out, God, why? Why am I going through this? What is this for? What did I do? How did I deserve this, God? Why do I deserve? I mean, you got questions over questions on questions do you know <clears throat> that jesus who also was a man fully god yet fully a man he also had some same questions while he was in the garden jesus was questioning god saying what's up daddy like what is going on why why do why why do i have to go through this god come on c is it any other way for me is it any other way is it any other way for me to make this happen is it any other way for me to bring heaven to earth? Is it any other way? God said, no. This is the way. So I need to tell somebody today, you keep asking God questions. You keep asking God why. You keep asking God, why did this happen to you in the past? Why did you go through that molestation? Why did you go through that rape? Why did you have the dysfunctional, toxic family that you had? Why your marriage is jacked up right now? Why you can't have a baby? Why you're not unable to get a job? Why you're in lack? Why your health is being attacked? Why, 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 God? Why, 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 why? I have prayed God, but still nothing. I have prayed God, but still you're not moving. I have prayed God, but still there is no answer. You're, you're you're in the garden of Gethsemane and you got questions. I need to take you to another part. Jesus knew what he had to do. He was going into that garden because he knew he had to pray. Notice he took some friends with him. He took his boys, Peter, James, and John. He took them with him, but they couldn't help him. Oh, I need you to hold on a minute. I need you to just hold how many minutes I got. I got 30 minutes or less. He couldn't take them into that part of the garden with him. He had to go alone. Even though he had his boys there, there was a point in that process where Jesus had to go by himself. God, I feel this thing. He had to go alone. And some of us, we get upset when our friends, they don't walk that thing out with us. We get upset when we call on our friend and they don't respond. We get upset when we text them and they don't text us back. We get upset with our friend. When our friends don't come through like we want them to come through. But there are some shit. God. There are some seasons, there are some situations, there are some trials, there are some storms, there are some days, there are some moments, baby, that you're going to have to go through alone. You're going to have to go through by yourself. I know you want them with you, but they're not going to be able to come in this part. They're not going to be able to go but so far. There are some things that you got to go through by yourself. But I need, and there are, look, I said, by, there are some some things that you're going to have more questions than answers. There are going to be some things that you're going to question God about. Don't, don't, don't worry about the little, the little holy saints, the little deep saints that want to act like, you know, they don't never question God. Boop, dismiss them. Boop, don't pay them no mind. Boop, don't worry about them. You will have some questions. There will be some seasons where you're going to question God and you're going to be like, Dad, what's up? Pops, Papa, Daddy, Abba, Father, Elohim. Why? What's going on? And he's going to say, I know you feel like you're in one of the darkest moments of your life. I understand that this is a dark season. I understand that you feel like, you know, you're all alone, but you're not because I'm here with you. And the unfortunate thing, I know some of you want me to tell you that the storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. No, the storm ain't passing over, baby. You got to go through this one. 
Yeah, I, I, need to, I need to tell you like it really is. You're going to have to go through this one. And you're going to have to make up your mind. You're going to have to make up your mind that you're going to have to make up your mind that you're going to have to make up your mind that I got to go through this one. And the only way that I'm going to come up out of this is I've got to trust him. I told you on yesterday, the only way we're going to make it through and the only way we're going to see the reward is we got to fix our eyes on who? Jesus. What did Jesus do when he was in the garden of Gethsemane? He fixed his eyes on God. He had, listen, he had to make up his mind. You understand? He had to make up his mind that I, I, I know what I got to do and I just got to do it. He, he, the plan ain't going to change. He ain't going to stop this storm. He ain't going to pull me out. He not going to speak to the wind and the wave. He, no, no, no. This storm, I've got to endure. By sure. I've got to endure this one. This one is going to cost something. This one I got to sacrifice. Somebody. This one I got to stay in it. This one can't nobody do it with me. This one I can cry all I want. This one I can murmur and complain all I want. And this one I can listen. I can say all the stuff I want to say. But this one I've got to do by myself. Notice Jesus kept going back. This is how you know this was the man part of him. He kept going back. He kept going back. He kept going back. And he kept looking at his friends. And he kept saying, hey, y'all can't stay with me. Y'all can't stay up with me for one hour. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all sleeping? Y'all can't stay up with me for one hour? Seriously? Like what? All this I done did for y'all? As much as I done been there for you? And here at my moment, my greatest moment of weakness, my greatest moment of need, of prayer, of intercession, Y'all jokers can't even stay awake. Child, you might as well stop getting mad at them friends when they can't stay awake. They ain't woke for you. They can't. It's not their battle. It's not their fight. It's not their garden. It's yours. So you need to stop getting mad at Peter, James, and John. You've got to understand that this, this one, you've got to go through by yourself. You gotta go through this by yourself. I need you to go and tell yourself, say self. As a matter of fact, call your name. Call your name. Come on. Jacina, Shanti, Darnia, Melissa, mm -hmm. Sid, Angela. Come on, say it. Shari. Uh-huh. I've got to go through this one by myself. I got to put my big girl panties on for this one. I got to put my big boy boxes on for this one. No matter who I call. Remember, we talked about on yesterday. I can look everywhere I want. But when I look on the outside for what only God can give me from the inside, I'm looking in the wrong place. Jesus had to get his mind off of his friends. Notice Stay with me. Notice when he stopped going back looking for his friends to help him. And he began to submit to that thing. And he began to, Jesus, this thing good. He began to fix his mind on Jesus. That's when he made up his mind. Come on, sin. That's when he made up his mind and said, you know what? I got to do what I got to do. Some of you know that this is your cross you got to bear. You already know. You already know that this health health issue, this is your cross you got to bear. It's trouble in your marriage right now. It's the cross you got to bear. Not knowing where to go, what God wants you to do in this season, it's the cross you got to bear. The children, your cross. The job, your cross. You got to, you got to bear this one. I keep telling you, yesterday we talked about in Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, that there's a cloud of witnesses. Those cloud of witnesses, they are examples that have gone before us. Look at how the examples passed the test. What did they do? They stood in faith. They stood on the promise that God gave them. And they endured the cross. What's your cross? What's your cross this morning? Jesus had to get to a place where he took his eyes off of his friend. He took his desire from his friends and helping him to realizing that it was only God that was going to help him get through. When he fixed his eyes on Jesus, he accepted his will. <laughs> Ooh, he 
accepted his will. He said, if, if this is the way I got to go, this is the way I got to go. God, your will be done. See, when you get to the point where you say, God, your will be done, that's when he going to show up and show out. But no, let me give you, hey, 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 let me give you a little commercial break. It may not happen the way you think it's going to happen. See, you're looking at it as, okay, God, I said your will, your will be done. Now everything going to get right. The sun going to shine again. Yay! No, this is why I got my sunglasses on, baby, because sometimes it's going to be dark. Mm -hmm. It's going to be dark, baby. It's going to be dark. Mm. And you're not going to be able to see clearly. Immediately after the Garden of Gethsemane, it was such a horrible time for Jesus that he sweated blood. Perf this man perfumed. It, it was so intense that he cried out to God like, God, come on. Is it any other way? He said, mm -mm. and when he finally accepted that there was no other way, that's when Judas came. Next thing you know, here come Judas. Judas. Yeah, one of the disciples. That means one of his friends. One that had been walking with him, talking with him, hanging out with him, eating with him, sleeping with him, traveling with him. Yeah, that friend. He comes and betrays him. Do not be shocked in this season when one of your friends that's been walking with you betray you. It's part of the plan. See, y'all want to hurt Judas, but you need Judas in order to fulfill the plan. <laughs> baby, baby. You need Judas because Judas is who is going to help you fulfill the plan, purpose, and will of God for your life. Judas is going to cause you to do the thing that you didn't want to do on your own. We want to kill Judas. We want we want to we want to take Judas out. But Judas is the one that helped Jesus fulfill the When I tell you when I get in this car, there's an anointing in this car. <laughs> Baby, he drops this thing in this car like fire. I'm about to burn up and I got the air down here on 70. Baby, you might as well go ahead on and accept Judas, boo. Mm -hmm. He going to help you get through. Judas is going to be the one that's going to help you mm -hmm. fulfill your destiny. And a Judas will come. Your Judas could be a past trauma. Your Judas could be a current situation. Your Judas could be an actual family member or sister or cousin or co-worker. Your Judas could be your job. Your Judas could be your divorce. I don't know what your Judas is, baby, but your Judas is going to push you into purpose, baby. Stop pushing up against your Judas. Notice what Jesus did. Here we go again. Our example. What is our example? Our example is Jesus in today's story. Right? In today's conversation, our example is Jesus. And what did Jesus do? Jesus said, go on, do what you got to do. He was so close to Jesus, he kissed him on his cheek. Jesus said, yeah, go. Yeah, go on here. You ain't see Jesus. Go, Bruh, get off me, bro. Jesus knew. But yet he still chose to do the will of God. He said, go, go, go on head on with your little 30 pieces of silver. Go on head on. Go on head on. Do what you got to do. Do what you must. That's what you need to tell your haters. That's what you need to tell the people that done come up against you. That's what you need to tell the people that have hurt you. That's what you need to tell the one that rejected you. The one that left you. The one. This is what you, this is what you got to do. You've got to tell them, go on, do what you must do. Go ahead, do what you must do. You mad because they divorced you. Child, go on, do what you must do. You mad because they cheated on you. Child, go on, do what you must do. But I said, God, you mad because they left you for her or him. Go on, do what you must do. They fired you on your job. Go on, do what you must do. You didn't get the sit. You didn't get the. You didn't get what you thought. You go on, do what you must. Go on, do what you must do. Go on, do it. Yes, it hurts, but go on, do it. Cause you fin listen, you finna push me right into purpose. Fast forward, Jesus goes. 
and he he he's before Pilate and all of them. Well, even before that, he goes down. You know, he go he he goes down a uh, Palm Sunday, and they 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 got the palm leaves, and they're like Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Oh, I mean, they just blessing him. Oh my God, he is Jesus. He is Jehovah. I mean, oh God, we love him. We oh God, look at him. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. They was doing all of that, baby, on one Sunday. And by the end of the week, they were saying, crucify him, kill him, take him out. So you might have a season where people are loving on you and they think you're the best thing since sliced bread. And they and they encouraging you and they blessing you and they and they giving you gifts and they shouting your name and they giving you your cheers. And they just saying, hey, 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 hey. Oh, we love her. We love him. Yes, 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 baby. But don't let the cheers fool you. Don't get so caught up on the tears. You better stay focused on Jesus. You know why? Because those same people will be the same people that turn right back around and say, crucify her. Crucify him. They'll be the same people that talk about you on social media. They'll be the same people that tell you, yeah, no, nah, man, you can't hang out no more. I, you know, yeah, we just ain't vibing no more. They'll be the same people that were with you today, but they're gone to, to tomorrow. They'll be the same people. You don't. They're pushing you into purpose. Notice Jesus did not, did Jesus went like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. He was not excited about the fact that they were cheering him on because he knew he had to stay focused. I cannot let these people get me excited because he already knew these same people in less than seven days, they're going to be trying to crucify me. They're going to give me over. They're going to want my head. They're going to want me to die. There are people that are not going to be happy for you, baby, when you're on the road to purpose. There are going to be people that are not going to shout your accolades when you're on your way to purpose. There are going to be people that are not going to care because you were an addict and now that you're trying to get your life together, that they're not going to be shouting for you. They're going to be trying child, you remember when she was an addict? Child, you remember when she was this? Child, you remember when he was this? You remember when he was a hoe? You remember when he was out there cheating on his wife? Child, you remember when? You remember, you remember. They want to bring up what you, you remember, you remember, you remember. That's what they're going to be saying. You remember, you remember, you remember. Oh, yeah, you act like you ain't. Oh, you act, oh, die, you want to act like you want to act like. Your haters. They part of your they, they, they're your they're your destiny pushers. They're your purpose pushers, baby. Let them push you in the purpose. And listen, I ain't gonna tell you they ain't gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. But you're gonna get over it. Keep your eyes open on jesus keep it moving fast forwarding jesus goes to Pilate and all of them and they're trying to say you know we need to get rid of him we need to kill him and that wife that wife the wife said you better not mess you better not mess with him and this ain't no good thing here what y'all get what you get ready to do Pilate. you better not mess with him it's gonna always be somebody that's gonna be in your corner though i don't care how many people come up against you it's gonna be somebody in your corner it's going to be somebody praying for you, somebody believing God for you, somebody believing God with you, coming in agreement with you. They're going to know, they're going to see, I shit, they're going to see the truth of who you are. And somebody's going to be in your corner. You won't even know who they are. She wasn't out there making no public announcement. She told her husband. There are people in a secret place that are praying for you, baby. There are people, I shit, you don't even know they're praying for you, but they're praying for you. I need you to know that today. Somebody's praying for you. Somebody pray for me. Had me on their mind, took the time and prayed for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad they prayed. Yeah, I'm so glad they prayed. Yeah, I'm so glad they prayed for me. Somebody pray for me. Had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad they prayed. Yeah, I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. You're going to have at least one. If it ain't nobody but Jesus sitting on the throne, sitting on the right-hand side of the Father, he praying for you. Fast forward. He didn't listen to him. And they put him on that cross. Now, when Jesus goes on the cross, I want to remind you that all his friends, they wasn't there. Peter had just uh, denied him. He told Peter he was going to deny him. They denied him. Peter denied him. The other people, they wasn't nowhere to be found. It was only one disciple that was there. And his mama. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't care. God told me, I bet you best get it right. I don't care. Your mama going to always be there. I know your mama may not have. Listen, your mama may not have understood what you went through. May not have understood your purpose. May not have understood your season. May not have understood. Yeah, some things your mama might have not have been there for me. But babe, I'm going to tell you something. Your mama, listen. 
his mama was there and he he I, I, there was a point in 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 his in his time on the cross where he said to his mama she, you know i'm sure she was hollering jesus my son my son he was like uh-uh baby i can't look at you my it's my mother right now because if i look at you as my mother I, I, i'm gonna come down from here I'm going to get in my flesh. I've got to look at you as a woman. And that's what he called it. He said, woman, behold that, that mother. And then he said something about the woman. And he was talking to one of the disciples that was there. He was like, you, you got to take care of her now. I'm giving her to you now. He had to look at Mary, not as his mother, but he had to look at Mary as a woman because he had to die for her. Had he got caught up in the fact that it was his mama, he wouldn't have been able to do it. I need to drop something on you real quick. You cannot get caught up in who the person is. Titles. You got to remember why you do what you do. You're going to catch it. You're going to catch it. I can't sit there at 749. I got to go. You're going to catch it fast forward. Everybody that said they was with him. While things were well. They were not there to be found. When things turned ugly. When it got dark. He was on that cross by itself. I'm telling you, some stuff you're going to have to go through alone. You're going to be looking for them, and they're not going to be there. You're going to be saying, wait, they're not going to be there. But I want to remind you, he told the disciples, he said, I, the son of man, goes into the ground, but yeah, he's going to come up three days later. Basically, he was telling them, I'm going to die, but I'm going to come back in three days. And they was looking at him like, child, what is Jesus talking about? What is, what, what, what bro talking about? Child, bro tripping. Jesus ain't paying him no mind because Jesus knew he had a purpose to fulfill. You see how that son that came out? I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Jesus goes head on the cross. <clears throat> he has to do what he has to do. But I want to remind you that me and my friend, me and Tara, was talking about this on Sunday. Everybody talks about Good Friday, and it was a horrible Good Friday. That's when he gave up the ghost. That's when he said, okay, God, your will, I, I surrender. And he let it go. He let it all go. And he died. But nobody talks about how he went to hell on Friday night, how he stayed in hell all day Saturday for you. He didn't just die, but he went to hell. He went down there in hell to inform the enemy that you can't have Angela. Yeah, you might mess with her, but you can't have her. You can't have Melissa. You might mess with her, but you can't have her. You cannot have Shari. You cannot have John. You cannot have Alan. You cannot have Tori. You cannot have Sin. You cannot have Lo. Jesus went to hell on your behalf. And said, yeah, you might bother with them. Yeah, you might stir some stuff up, but you can't have them. Because I chose them before the foundation of the world. That's why I'm here. I'm here to take back the keys of death, hell, and the grave. And when I come up, not only am I going to have all power, but I'm going to give them the victory. Oh, y'all better be glad they got time to work this thing today. This is why you have to endure. This is why you cannot give up. What if Jesus had given up? What if he had listened to one of them jokers that was out there in the audience heart? If you, Jesus, the son of God, get yourself down from the cross. Jesus said, first of all, I could do that. All I got to do is call my angels and boom, I'm down. As a matter of fact, I could get down from here if I really wanted to. Baby, there's a song that they sang at Easter. They didn't sing it this year. I might have to play it for myself. He would not come down from the cross just to save himself. But he decided to die just to save me. He would not come down from the cross just to save himself. Mm -hmm. He decided to die just to save me. I want you to remember, baby, that when you are having a good Friday moment, 
when you're having, you might be in a garden of guests in any moment. It's all right. It don't stop right there. You might feel like you're going through hell. You might have to go through some hell moments. But I came to remind you today that Sunday's coming. Baby, baby, I come to remind you that Sunday's coming. Jesus knew that Sunday was coming. He knew the hell that he would have to endure for you and I, but he also knew that Sunday was coming. And he knew that Sunday meant victory. He knew that Tasso, he knew that Sunday not only meant victory for him, but victory for you. This is why I started off the live by saying that he said, be of good cheer for I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. It didn't look abundant when he was in the garden of Gethsemane. It didn't look abundant when he was being crucified. It didn't look abundant on Good Friday. It didn't look abundant on Friday night. It didn't look abundant on Saturday. See, Saturday is that place between when, when, the, when the thing go down and Sunday when you come back up. Saturday is the day when all hell breaks through in your life and nobody really teaches you how to endure hell, how to endure a Saturday, how to endure a Friday night. They don't really teach you how to do that, but your sister want to teach you today, fix your eyes on Jesus. On those Saturdays, on those Friday nights, on those good Fridays, when you're in the Garden of Gethsemane, when you're on your cross, you're going to have to fix your eyes on Jesus because he is the only one that's going to be able to help you endure. Remember what the word said in Hebrews. In order for you to get the reward, you got to do what? Fix your eyes on Jesus. Because Sunday's coming. Sunday's coming. He didn't say faith was going to give you the promise. Uh-uh. He said fixing your eyes on Jesus is what's going to give you the promise. Stay focused. Jesus stayed focused. He knew that if he stayed focused, he would accomplish his purpose. I need you to stay focused. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. 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 The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. It might be dark right now, but baby, you see how that sun's coming in? You saw how dark it was when we started this live. The sun has come. As long as the sun is with you, the sun shall shine again. Endure. Like a good soldier. Endure. The race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong. But the race is given to the one that endures. How long you got to endure? To the end. Somebody type that in the chat. Till the end. Don't stop speaking what God said. Don't stop believing what God said. Stand on the word. Even in the garden of Gethsemane. Stand. Even when your betrayer betrays you. Stand. Even while they're cheering you on. Stand. Even when they mock you and they want you to die, they want to see your demise, stand. Even when they put you on the cross, stand. Even when they beat you, stand. They nail you, stand. They spit on you, stand. Stand and endure. 
Because Sunday's coming. This is why I said to you earlier. When you endure, there's blessings on blessings. That's when you receive the promise. You do not receive the promise when you give up. I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy, so I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. I don't feel ooh, no ways tired. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy, so I won't believe he brought me this far. I won't believe my God, he brought me this far. I feel the Holy Ghost. I won't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Sunday's coming. Hold your head up, baby. Keep your sunglasses on because you're going to need them. Because when the sun shows up, the sun comes out. There will be glory after this. I love you. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow.